selfie uploaded. Hashtag NVWG. All right. You know, our gadgets, smartphones, tablets, they're amazing, right? But uh, every year here at the games, we see innovations and technologies implemented that help these veterans not only out there on the court, but in their everyday lives. And up next, we're gonna meet the people who are thinking up and designing and building these incredible innovations. Well, the mission of the Human, Inter Research, Human Engineering Research Laboratories is to uh, apply advanced technology research and engineering to improve assistive technology for people with disabilities, primarily veterans with disabilities. Um, you know, it's one of the things that came out of her role is the square cross brace design. We did that as a project for, for Quickie Sunrise Medical back in the 1990s. It is literally on every chair here that folds. And, it, and that solved the problem of the cross braces breaking uh, and uh, having chairs fail. And a lot of times that cross brace would come up and stab somebody in the, in the leg or the rear end and, and they'd get cut up and you know, the, the chair would be a total destruction. And that just doesn't happen anymore. You don't even, the, the young guys don't even know that was a problem uh, 20 years ago. Uh, same thing with, uh, you know, you see more and more of the ergonomic hand rims. That's just a pretty much commonplace now. Or how many athletes are using rigid backrests? That's all work that came out of Furl. And we do, we do work on sports chairs. So we have uh, some of the athletes through today in our throwing chair that we invented several years ago. Uh, worked on hand cycles, some of the hand cycling technology you see is, is kind of has its traces its roots back to us. Uh, the wheelchair racing technology, the technologies in the basketball and rugby chairs. But you know, the expo yesterday, the, the virtual seating coach from Promobile is a, one of our products. Uh, some of the, the uh, carbon fiber backrest technology you see is, all had its origins in Hurl. The uh, ergonomic hand rims that a lot of the athletes use. Every day, as well as for basketball, have their origins uh, in our labs as well. I mean, I think that uh, for powered mobility, uh, robotics is really going to be the future. We're going to see wheeled robots, wheeled legged robot combinations. We're going to see a lot more smart technology. We're going to see the, you know, all of us are carrying a more uh, powerful computer around with us in our smartphones. That's getting even more powerful. That's going to be the controller for a lot of things that we drive. I even think in our, uh, for those of us that if 35 years from now are still using manual chairs, they're going to have smart materials in them. They're going to be really smart, uh, really designed for individual, you know, each individual person. I think 3D printing is going to allow us to bring in a lot more customization, individualization. It'll be your chair, you know, made, made specifically for you, not, not tailored for you like it is now, but really actually made specifically for your, for your body. The thought process really is, is, is why we're here, right? The, the veterans, they give us the ideas, and the clinicians. So the physical therapists, occupational therapists, the female R physicians, the rehab engineers working in the VA, and the veterans, and they tell us what their problems are. The 35th National Veterans Wheelchair Games, co-presented by Paralyzed Veterans of America and the Department of Veterans Affairs.